Let's do some quick reads here, have a little fun. Mina, which team could maybe surprise some people for outside the top 10 trading up for a quarterback this year? Okay, so mine's a little provocative. Oh, it's I'm going to suggest the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> um, here's why. Contractually, they can move on from Kirk Cousins after this year. He signed that big contract. And I, I thought he played really well, but if this team feels like he has taken us as far as we're going to go, we need to win a Super Bowl. They might consider trading up for like an Anthony Richardson. Don't have a lot of draft capital because of the TG Hawkinson acquisition, so it would take future picks. I'm just saying, ooh, it could happen. I love it. Well, for me, I want to talk about Taylor Heineke and what he was for the Washington Commanders last year. You saw the energy he was able to bring after Carson Wentz was injured early on in the season. But as the season continued to go on, you can see that they needed that extra step up in pedigree at the position, especially with what they had offensively built around him. And it started with the running game. If the Washington Commanders are able to get good play at the quarterback position, I believe that they are put together in a way that they can excel next season. RC obviously stealing my notes and mad about the last segment, and this is incredibly <laughs> awkward in understanding who's to my left. I go to Terry McLaurin at the Pro Bowl, having a great conversation. I think we all agree, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. I said, congratulations on making the Pro Bowl, and he said, I did it, and I played with 11 quarterbacks. I agree, the Washington Commanders, I think it's a healthy roster, and with the state of the NFC and it being relatively wide open outside of Philadelphia, I would love to see them get aggressive and make a move for a dynamic play caller. I have a and question. with that, and producing a show, <laughs> who thought that those two things were the things? Okay, that I take reads? the blame. I take the blame. We're not going to blame our producer Susan right now. As we welcome Ron Rivera to the set. What so about that? Up. Here, Ron. Was a setup. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, but but we do want to start there because, uh, Coach, you've said that Sam Howell has the opportunity right. to compete for the starting job, and and you've been uh, very upfront about that. But where is the interest level in potentially trading up to get one of these guys that we're right. going to see out here tomorrow throwing? Well, for the most part, you know, we have some interest, but the, the biggest thing, more than so anything else, we got a lot of interest in Sam Howell. A big reason why is if you go back to the 2021 draft and you look at what his grades were and what people had given him in terms of, you know, this kid could be potentially a first, maybe an early second round pick. What changed? Well, what changed was he went from having a veteran team where three offensive linemen, yeah. a tight end, yeah. two running backs, and a wide receiver were all drafted into the NFL. Then fast forward to his, to his senior year, he didn't have those tools around him. Well, he had an opportunity to play against Dallas and, and really showed us his wares, what, what he's capable of. And we felt very comfortable and confident to, to for me to at least go out and say, we're gonna, he's going to start off as QB1. I'm not anointing him as our starter day one but when I, uh, in the regular season, but I am giving him the opportunity to show us he, he can do it. Now, it's not going to preclude us from you know, doing our homework on, on these young men coming out in the draft. It's not going to preclude us from doing our homework on, on free agency. So we'll see what happens in the next couple months. Coach, you have a roster that seems ready to compete in so many other places on this team. Obviously, the quarterback being a position you haven't had stability. What is it going to take for one of these guys that you said you still will evaluate to kind of jump off of the board to you and maybe make you think about moving up or taking a quarterback this year? Well, the biggest thing is, you know, there's some of these guys have some really good tapes. Some guys have really caught our eye. But the big thing is as they go through this process do they stand out do they separate themselves and do they show themselves worthy of us trading some of the capital that we have to come up and get them we've got to feel that comfortable if we're going to do something like that and as I said you know again evaluating what we have with Sam we do feel pretty good about it coach I'll ask you this the the contrast or the balance of we really like one of these rookie quarterbacks we want to go get them but then that gives you with two really young players at the position in the quarterback room in comparison to let's ride with Sam and maybe at a veteran that has NFL experience, where is that conversation with you guys and do you lean one way or the other in the situation of it? Well, I think the, the, the truth of the matter is, again, as, as you know, we brought in Eric Bieniemy last week, right. an opportunity mm -hmm. to sit down, and when we get back, that'll be a big uh, topic for us come Tuesday. You know, everybody's traveling on Monday for the most part, but Tuesday we'll get down in the weeds and talk about free agency, talk about the potential for a guy in the draft, and really see where Eric is as well, because he's a big part of this uh, equation for us. We just would you be comfortable, real quick, would you be comfortable with two young players, though? Like we, uh, I would be comfortable as long as we had a veteran guy around him. You know, last year we carried three quarterbacks. Yeah. We could do it again. So you would want a vet in the room? Most home. certainly. I got you. Yes. Uh, we just showed a clip earlier of Anthony Richardson, one of the young quarterbacks. Comparing, he called himself Cam Johnson. I don't know if you saw that. Or, <laughs> Cam, uh, Cam Jackson, Jackson Cam pardon Jackson. me. Um, so obviously you spent years mm -hmm. with Cam Newton. And at that time, Cam Newton was an aberration. Yes. He was something we had never seen before. Now we're seeing these guys. I'm not saying they're like Cam, but 
those qualities, the power, the speed, uh, Sam Howell, of course, is a dual threat quarterback. You're seeing that more and more present in the league. How have your views changed on how much that matters mm. to the position? How much does it matter to you now? Well, it does matter an awful lot, but the thing you always got to be careful for is, is what happens if, if the injuries start to catch up yeah. to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw a little bit of what happened with Jalen Hurst when he went down, and, and that was a big blow to, to what Philadelphia did. But once they got him back, they got right back on track. So, you know, to me, if you're going to go that way and that's what you're going to commit to, you got to make sure you have two of them that are available mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach, I want to follow up on Eric Bieniemy and bringing him in. What have your conversations been like with him? I understand you'll have more time with him coming up, but how has he already made some progress with this team? It's exciting because, you know, when we introduced him, we had about 12 players show up, and, and, and I believe nine of those 12 were offensive guys. They spent about a half hour with him just getting to know with him and know him and, and just watch their energy levels go up as they were around him. Their excitement level was really terrific. So uh, I thought that was great. But then he and I sitting down talking about his vision and what he sees offensively. It's pretty exciting because as I watched the playoffs and I saw what they were doing offensively, I kept thinking, with the guys we have around, yeah. Yeah. we talent, have a chance. Yes, exactly. Crystal ball, eight, nine months in the future right now. What about Sam Howell does America not know? Um, that he's got a real, really good arm. I mean, he, he, is, he, he's, he's, he has quick twitch, he makes quick decisions, and he gets the ball out quickly. Hey, Coach, thanks for letting us ambush you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. We appreciate, appreciate it. We promised so to say good things about Washington. I know. I mean, it, we were going to lead in with just all the things we love about Ron Rivera, but we tabled that. It, we, we thank you so much for being <laughs> with us Coach. here on NFL Live and enjoy the rest of the combine. Can't wait to see what the commanders do.